I brought my cement mixer back into the uh, shop that I have. The electric motor just wasn't cutting it, wasn't doing a good job. I couldn't really fill it up the whole way, get the maximum amount of it. So what I decided to do was to get a hydraulic motor, which I got a used one. <clears throat> so I'm going to mount it on there instead of the electric and let the hydraulic. Um, and also, it, it was more uh, the belts than it was the electric motor, but the electric motor was straining. But the belts also wanted to slip quite a bit. Anyhow, I had to uh, uh, grind down the end of the shaft. And the way I did that, which I should have, which I forgot all about, I should have taped it. But I mounted the, the pulley on here and had the motor hooked to it and then just had it run. And I ran the grinder at the same time over top of it. So it it did a, it doesn't, it did a, a good even job. It may look a little odd. That's because it's shiny spots on it. Uh, but I did check it and it, it is pretty pretty much round and I also kind of cut a groove in it to help hold the, uh, the gear which I have um, I bought a tractor supply which this is the, the hub to the gear which goes on there and then the sprocket which I don't know if you've ever seen how this works but they sell them separate so that you can change the different hubs because that's an inch and a half hub as big as I can get and you can put different or, uh, different size sprockets with different hubs in them and then what you do is you weld it around and that gives you your your sprocket And that's the number 40 when I bought the chain. Now all I do is put it together. Once I get it running, uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you how it works. <laughs> 